Greetings, everybody. It is bike cleaning day here at the Ride Along Adventures Command Center. And I'm one of those riders who gives a lot of attention to my bike chain. And I'm sure I'm not alone. I just like that new bike feel with smooth pedaling and that wonderful zing that comes from a clean drivetrain. So when a company called Focopot reached out to me to provide an unbiased review of their chain cleaning kit, well, I perked up and agreed. I usually don't do uh, product reviews, but I just believe there are few things you can do to keep your bike in good riding shape and even extend the life of the bike altogether. Okay, so this kit retails for about $30 on Amazon. Um, by the way, I'm going to provide an Amazon affiliate link below in the description if you're inclined to purchase this, but let's just go ahead and dive in and look what's included in the kit. There's a bottle of biodegradable uh, cleaner slash degreaser, a bottle of lubricant, a brush, a cassette hook thing. Um, I don't know what it's called because I've never used one of these before. There's some gloves, there's a towel, and most interesting to me, there is a chain scrubber. So I actually purchased one of these many years ago and despite buying it at a well-known outfitter type company and despite having a well-known logo on the unit, it lasted about three cleanings before just falling apart. So I'm particularly interested in how this one's gonna perform. So let's go ahead and go outside on this sunny day and get to cleaning. Cleaning my drivetrain is part of my general bike cleaning process, but since this is a chain cleaning kit, I'm going to focus on that primarily. The first thing I do is spray the chain, the chain rings, and cassette with water, and then I apply the cleaner degreaser, and this is the most important part, I let it sit for a few minutes. One of the key mistakes people make is to immediately start working away with a brush or even a spray attachment on a hose. And an industrial surfactant, I mean, think of something like Dawn dishwashing uh, detergent. It needs time to penetrate into the grease and grime in order to lift the dirt off of the surface of the chain of the drivetrain. If you don't wait, you're literally just washing away the cleaner without much benefit. Now, to the other extreme, you don't want it to dry onto the surface, like if you're outside on a particularly hot day. But after five to 10 minutes, I use the brush to loosen up the buildup, and then I spray the drivetrain off before repeating the process again. Now, it's amazing how much gunk will wash away from that first application. And sure enough, the chain looks pretty good at this point, but you know, you might just want to jump in and use the scrubber during the first application. I mean, that's completely up to you. If your chain isn't terribly dirty anyway, um, well then why are you cleaning it? Anyway, I prefer to get the majority of the dirt off first and then do a second application to get deeper into the chain. And I use the scrubber for that. And because I can't find my dummy hub right now, I'm gonna leave the back wheel on and switch the gears around to clean the entire cassette. And I know for some of you, this is blasphemy. Shame. So I apologize in advance of your honest and accurate comments. So again, we'll wait a few minutes for the cleaner to work and then attach the scrubber to the chain. I like to fill the base of the uh, scrubber with either soapy detergent and or more of the cleaner itself. And then, look, you simply turn the crank and run the chain through the scrubber. If you don't have a stand, you can run the scrubber back and forth on a section of the chain, then move it forward and clean a new area until you've worked your way around the entire chain. If you can't tell, the key benefit of the scrubber is that it contains the mess within the unit rather than getting on your clothes or other parts of the bike. I spray off the chain, I use a clean towel or part of a clean towel to test how well it was scrubbed. And this is where your personal preference is going to kick in. There's a certain amount of residue that even I can tolerate, but if it's still not to uh, a sufficiently clean level, I just repeat the scrubber process again. The thing is, if you don't remove enough of the grit and grease, the new lubricant will not bind to the chain, and honestly, you're kind of wasting your time. So I have to say, I'm impressed with the cleaner overall. This formula seems to work pretty well, and I'm also impressed with this little scrubber unit. Um, it just 
feels a little bit more solid than what I had before. And I also noticed that the inner brushes are in good shape afterwards. So I'll clean this unit later before storing it away. So now we need to dry the chain. And you can obviously use a rag, but I also keep a can of compressed air around to blow dry the dry train. The point here, and you need to read the specific instructions on your lube, but generally you don't want to apply lube to a wet chain. All right, let's move to the lubricant itself. I'm gonna bypass the lube that came in this kit because I prefer a brand that I've been using for a while now. But I have to say that I like this little application wand. Um, I like to take my time and lube each link rather than just you know, squirting a mess of stuff on the chain and watching it go everywhere. Um, again, I wait a few minutes for the lube to penetrate into the links and then wipe off the excess. Um, I run through the gears a few times to see if we have any issues. And nope, that looks and sounds pretty good. Okay, so my summary. Again, this retails for about $30, and I'd like to point out that I bought my previous scrubber for $35 all by itself. So if you total up the brushes, the lube, and the cleaner separately, we're talking about at least another $30. So I think the price of this kit is, is pretty reasonable. My drivetrain was probably more dirty than usual because I just came back from a seven day tour. So I give it a real thumbs up um, for the degreaser and the cleaner. I noticed a lot of gunk came off in the first application and I think that's awesome. One note on the lube, if you're accustomed to an oil-based lube, this one looks legit. So it might work just fine for you. It's not really a deal, deal breaker for me on uh, the rest of the kit. Also to repeat, the scrubber just feels sturdy and well-constructed, uh, but just for fun, I'm gonna leave an update in the description section of just how many times I've used it. So you can check below and we'll see how long this thing will last. Overall, look, I'd give it five stars. It did uh, what it said. I think overall it's a good kit. And again, I will be supplying an Amazon affiliate link below if you're either interested in purchasing it or just learning more about this company's products. With that, hey, thanks for watching. Here's to clean drivetrains and happy riding.